I'm starting a playlist, a series of keto and low carb for beginners. So today I'm going to share with you my must have refrigerator and freezer staples. These are going to be keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly. This is going to include a little bit of everything. And remember, these are things that have helped me on my weight loss journey. In my household, we practice sustainable keto. Everyone's journey is going to be different. When you're first starting a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle, you don't want to go out and buy everything because it gets a little overwhelming. I think you should keep it simple in the beginning until this becomes more of a routine. This is the type of video I wish I had when I was first starting a low carb lifestyle. I was confused. I didn't know what to pick up. I was a little all over the place. Just bought it all and realized that I didn't like a lot of the products. Now, with that being said, I do want you to know, if you are just starting out, your tastes are going to change. It happens around the three month mark. Things you hated in the beginning, you're gonna start to like. Be patient, take your time, and let your body get adjusted. Okay, let me go ahead and get started, and let me show you some of the staples I think are great for anyone just starting out on a low carb or keto lifestyle. I'm going to try to go through these as quick as possible. Variety and flavor are extremely important to me. Luckily for us, now we can find pretty much every single condiment that you would normally have in your refrigerator in a sugar-free version. I'm going to be honest, this is not all of ours, but I just pulled out a few so that I could give you some examples. Starting with the basics, as in mustard and mayonnaise. Mustard normally does not have any sugar added into it when you get yellow mustard, so the majority of those are gonna be safe. As for mayonnaise, there are cleaner versions, but my favorite is gonna be the Duke's Mayo. What can I say? I was raised in the South. This one, though, does not have any sugar added into it, although I'm not opposed to small amounts of sugar on a low carb lifestyle. You do not have to give up ketchup. There are multiple of those. I pick up the G Hughes sugar free. You can get this at Walmart. G Hughes also has marinating sauces. We have the orange ginger and dipping sauces. They have honey mustard, the famous clucking sauce, which is gonna be like your Chick-fil-A sauce. Primal Kitchen has an amazing steak sauce and that one is gonna be organic as well as sugar-free. Barbecue sauces that are now on the market are probably going to overwhelm you. There are so many different ones to choose from. So although I would not suggest going out and buying every single one, Pick one or two to substitute for your favorite. In the comments below, let me know what's your favorite sugar-free condiment. Eggs, well, they're probably my number one staple. This is something that I eat multiple times a week. I'm making egg salad, I'm making hard-boiled eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, omelets. I'm adding them to recipes. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I do buy the cheaper eggs, just the white eggs to add into my recipes. And I save the good ones, like the Eggland's Best Cage Free that I'm using right now for when I'm eating something that is solely egg-based, like scrambled eggs or omelets. The Cage Free run around $3.99 to $4.50, but eggs, they're easy. It's simple to make. They're not that expensive. There's so many different things that you can do with them. As long as you don't have an allergy to these, then get some eggs butter, butter, and more butter. I just pick up sticks of butter and I normally add this to pretty much everything, especially if it is a low fat meal because this gives me the fat I need to bring my keto ratios up. A lot of people will say, you have to get the Kerrygold. It's the only butter, it's the cleanest, but you don't. The reason I have Kerrygold here right now is because I found it on sale and I stocked up. Normally, the butter I pick up is the salted and un salted sticks of butter at Aldi and they are $3.99. Occasionally you can even find those on sale for $2.99 a box. When you do, I go ahead and max out that limit and stock them up in my outside refrigerator. But butter, good way to add fats to low fat meals. And of course, it's going to be adding flavor and you can put this in recipes. 
Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese. I know, this one I'm a little picky on. I always pick up the Philadelphia. I have tried the store brand versions, but I keep coming back to the Philadelphia, and it is another one of those things that when I find it on sale, I go ahead and stock up. For me, the reason I pick up the Philadelphia is it is a taste and texture issue. Plus, when you look at the carb count on the Philadelphia cream cheese, it's gonna be lower than your store brands or the majority of the store brands. I think it's because when you look at your ingredient list, it's got less fillers in here. For me in the beginning and even now, every single carb matters. So with my cream cheese, if this one is less than one, I round it up to one a serving and the other is two, three, or four, that's carbs that I could put somewhere else. Milk substitutes. Okay, we're gonna talk about those for a couple of seconds. Now, this is one that's gonna take some trial and error just till you figure out what works best for you, but there are so many different options. The most important factor here is that you get unsweetened. It's very tiny. It's not something that's usually big on the container, and sometimes I've even had a tendency to pick up the sweetened version. Unsweetened almond plain vanilla. You've also got the almond coconut now by Silt. There's just the coconut that's going to be unsweetened. There is a flax milk. Possibilities are virtually endless and you can even find this now at Dollar Tree. This is going to be 100% trial and error. So what I would suggest is not putting a lot of money into dairy free, sugar free. Just start slowly, pick one out just so that you have it on hand and give it a shot. We are a family of pickle lovers. And this is another one of those items that you're gonna be able to find lots of different variations, different varieties, sizes, styles, flavors, you name it. Bonus, even some stores in my area have no sugar added and sweetened with Splenda sweet relish. Go stock up on pickles, great salty snack. When I first started keto, I bought blocks of cheese. We still do, but now we just cube those up and we'll add them to like a snack plate or grab a chunk of cheese as a snack. The reason I bought blocks of cheese in the beginning is shredded cheeses like this do have anti-caking agents added in. They are just small amounts, but they can affect or possibly affect your weight loss. So if your main goal is gonna be weight loss, in the beginning, you may wanna shred your own cheese. Now that I am in maintenance mode, I just go ahead and buy the massive bags of pre-shredded cheese. My refrigerator probably not gonna be stocked full of meats, but my freezer is. What I keep in the refrigerator is gonna be our snack meats so that we can make little charcuterie snack plates and things like that. Right now, I have the salami in there, Duke's shorty sausages, things like that refrigerated. And this one's gonna seem a little weird, but I keep my cans of white chunk breast chicken meat in the refrigerator because I like my chicken salad cold. And all I gotta do is mix things up and I can have a meal together in under five minutes. Heavy whipping cream, this one is just great value. It's the Walmart brand, I pick up the large one. It's been lasting me longer than normal lately, but this is great for making your own whip topping if you don't want anything with any artificial sweeteners in it. And it's also good to add to coffees, recipes. Definitely a staple item. This is something that most people use in their everyday life, even if they're on the standard American diet. Sour cream, I'm almost out. We add sour cream to everything. I like to have this on hand to make my own ranch. I like to make my own dips and sauces. So sour cream is a huge staple. I probably use this every day, if not every other day. 
I do not keep a ton of fresh vegetables in my refrigerator because they have a tendency to go bad really quickly. So I buy a frozen. But right now we do have the garden salad mix. I get the bag of jalapenos at Aldi so I can make jalapeno poppers. I made some last night and I've only got one left. These tend to stay fresh longer. And I do love Brussels sprouts, so I do keep Brussels sprouts in the freezer, which I'll show you in a second. But I picked up the shaved ones recently at Trader Joe's. Fresh veggies for me, they aren't one of those items that I have a refrigerator full of. But if you guys eat fresh veggies on a daily basis and you don't have to worry about them going bad, then stock up on those low carb ones. I'm a snacker, and if you're looking for something sweet that you don't have to make, you can just pull out of your refrigerator, check out the Keto Ratio yogurts. They're going to be high fat and low protein. I like the strawberry, but they also have it in the coconut, the vanilla, the blueberry, the mango. They have so many different ones to choose from. This is a very thick yogurt, and I stay stocked up on it. This is something you will always find in my refrigerator. I also like to add the sugar-free whipped heavy cream to it. So basically just Cool Whip. This one is the Great Value brand. They do have other varieties at the grocery store to choose from, but this is the one that I prefer. In the beginning, I would also pick up in the refrigerated section the sugar-free Jellos. They have the Winkies brand, but I don't eat those as much now as I used to. But those are a good option and it was one of those things I had in my refrigerator all the time. I drink soda. So something you're always going to find stocked in my refrigerator is going to be Diet Coke, Diet Mountain Dews. You're going to find energy drinks. Right now I'm drinking the Alani New. There are so many different things that you can consume that are low carb if you're not worried about doing a cleaner version of keto. I never from day one gave up diet drinks and I still managed to lose over 75 pounds. You don't have to deprive yourself of your favorite drink. Just find a more low carb, sugar free, friendly version of that. This has always been one of my non-negotiables, especially when it comes to caffeine. I feel like I need the extra energy. Do what works for you. Freezer items lots and lots of frozen veggies. Cut okra. I like frozen broccoli. I'll just steam it in the bag, add cheese, butter, pink salt, or I can even add it to recipes. Brussels sprouts. I fry those up in a pan with oil, butter, seasonings. Absolutely delicious. I love crispy Brussels sprouts. The only cauliflower that I eat is the green giant rust cauliflower risotto medley. Stock up on cauliflower if you want. It's a great one to have. With this one, I like to steam it in a bag. Then I'll add it to a pan with heavy whipping cream, some garlic, some Parmesan cheese, and make a little Alfredo risotto medley. They do have these in other varieties, but this one is the one I always pick up. I have tried the others. It has asparagus in here, and it also has mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I usually keep those in the refrigerator. Asparagus, I'll pick it up occasionally fresh and fix it in the air fryer. But these are my go-to staples as far as freezer veggies. I normally do not pick up fresh fruit either. I like to get the frozen because it's going to last longer unless it's in season. We do have some strawberry fields around here. When they're in season, I will pick those up. But this one has whole strawberries, blueberries, raspberries and blackberries all really low carb and this one is also unsweetened this one came from ingles but they have these at walmart and you can get them at aldi and other grocery stores just read your label to make sure there's not a lot of other stuff added in well now let's talk about main courses meats and fish these are the ones that i have all the time so of course bacon i have i think three packages in my freezer now several packages of sausage. Just know that there will be some type of sugar in sausage and bacon because it's added in during the curing process and it will normally say less than 2%. It's not enough to affect you. Meatballs, you can make your own. They're going to be a lot healthier. So if you want to go cleaner, but for me, I'm not really worried about that as long as I'm keeping my carb count where I want. 
These are just the Angus meatballs. Make sure you're not getting ones that have lots of breadcrumbs or anything added into them. Pre-cooked burgers, very convenient. This one is the ballpark and it's the flame grilled, but you can get different varieties at all of your grocery stores. I like the fact that they're pre-cooked, so in case I need them really quick, I can put them in the microwave, but normally I'll just stick these in the air fryer. This one is the beef with cheese and bacon. Fish we always have on hand is mahi-mahi and salmon. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen that I pick these up at Sam's Club every single time I go. Remember, if you're not subscribed, to go ahead and do so. Hit that notification bell. Check the description box because I'm going to have my other social media accounts there. You can click on them and they'll take you on over. Also down in that description box, you're going to find lots of discount codes and some of my favorite products and even appliances that have helped me out along my keto journey. So make sure you always check down there. And don't forget about that comment section. So if you have an item that you think is great for a keto beginner, or if you have a suggestion for a video, put it in the comments and give me some ideas. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted next time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.